Hello, this is a bite-sized presentation on probe self-monitoring in Netcall Omnibus. There are a number of types of self-monitoring that probes can perform. These include the return on investment extensions, which includes the memory and performance related statistics gathering, heartbeat in the object server using the heartbeat property, using the probe specific heartbeating property, and configuring custom heartbeating to perform end-to-end -end testing of event reception. The return on investment solution is included with Netcall Omnibus and found in the Dollar Omni Home extensions directory. It requires object server configuration and the inclusion of a probe watch includes file into those probes that need to be monitored. The solution includes reports for use with the Tivoli Data Warehouse reporting solution. It is best to copy the probe watch include file to the probes directory then include this file into the required probes rules files. The old if else block needs to be replaced with the new include file logic as shown. The target object server used by the probe requires the probe stats.sql file to be run against it. For the multi-tier system, the targets are the collection layer object servers. The SQL adds two new tables used to hold the statistics data and six new triggers used to collate and log the data. The default log name is shown here, where ncoms is the object server name. The self-monitoring settings are set to disabled by default. In the probe's property file, enable the probe watch heartbeat interval by setting it to a suitable value such as 60 seconds. Edit the probe watch include files as required. If you have never used the feature before, it is best to enable everything and then turn off anything that is not required. Zero is off and one is on. Review the online manual to determine how best to use the custom statistics. Because the settings are configured in the rules file, they can be altered using a kill minus hup to the probe, which makes them easy to enable and disable. You can grab the probe login messages from the probe's logs file using the log messages prefix string pshbr. The same details are sent to the object server for statistics analysis and custom automated triggering. To collect the statistics, the stats underscore trigger group needs to be enabled as do the individual probe stats triggers. For the OPL heartbeat to work, additional rules file edits are required. Set the default object server and configure the gen event statement in the probe watch include file as required. The object server statistics logging logs the details from the probe statistics table as shown, as well as the general statistics. This table shows the available OPL stats variables these percentage variables can be used to log details as required in the probe's log file or used for custom statistics logging. In the given rules file example, the total CPU time is calculated and logged along with the current memory usage. Probe logging can be performed whenever a new event is generated or after a given number of events are generated. As well as the ROI features, there is the probe's heartbeat property, which is set in the probe's property file and generates a heartbeat event in the object server periodically. It is important to set network timeout as well, otherwise the connection to the object server will never timeout by default, which prevents heartbeats from being sent to the object server or the object server's unavailability being logged. The heartbeat setting should be larger than the network timeout setting. Some probes possess probe specific heartbeat properties. You can use minus dump props to see all the available properties. You should refer to the probe's manual to understand probe specific heartbeat properties. It is possible to configure periodic event generation in the source systems. These periodic events can then be used to track event processing times. This type of event monitoring has the advantage of testing the entire event processing route rather than just the probe to object server. For example, Unix cron tab could be used to generate a trap. The trap itself could hold its creation time based on internet time. This timestamp and its subsequent arrival in the object server could then be used to determine event processing times from system to probe. Equally, the timestamp can then be used to determine other event processing deltas, such as the aggregation or time to historical database, provided the systems use a common timing server and time zone. 